Okay, I think we're about ready. The music hasn't been playing in a while. I noticed that. Oh, I, 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 I see why the music hasn't been playing. Hold on, let me, uh... Let me try to... Do that. No wonder the music wasn't really playing. There we go. Got that fixed. A little confused. Alright. We are on chapter six. Now, so far I've been having a little bit of trouble with the reinforcements. So, maybe I should focus on the reinforcements before trying to get to the door. So, because my plan was draw and Rody are down here. Oh, yeah, I wanted, I wanted you bellow farther up. One you bellow farther up. Right, that changes things. Only ever so slightly. Uh, I forgot to equip. There we go. And Marth goes up here. something. Right. Yeah, too bad you Bella can't uh, get close. Marth was able to survive the entire time. So it'll all work out. So, Lind uses Aura on this one. HP. And we got a door key. Then Marth uses the rapier. Okay. Next. Warren, go ahead and grab your KO. I'm gonna throw him up here. Perfect. Okay, Ryan is on the move. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Cecile stands in range. Julian is also heading over here. 
fellow you head up here, I guess. And Drog and Rhodey say where they are. So Marth can handle these two. They're both going to go after him. Then he just needs to go back and get healed. Good, we dodged. And we got the crit. Good, go for more. Good, good job. Mario. You did it. Level 8. Strength, speed, weapon level, and HP. Okay. Marth and Ogma need to back out and get some healing in. Go ahead and we could probably use the mend on him. don't know what these do. And you know what? I think we need to do something about the reinforcements for moving on through the doors. attack from range. Alright. Ryan go ahead goes ahead and starts working on the one fit the physic. Gets the crit. That works. What do we get? Level 8. Skill, luck, and that's it. And we get the secret book. Warren can go ahead and start working on the one with Swarm. Okay, he'll be taken out next turn. We get the Barrier Staff. Uh, you, keep, you stay there. Katria, you move down here. Alright. Let's figure this out. Brody's fine at the moment. However, he's gonna need healing soon. What I could do is have Mark go down here, and with the iron, For the other armor unit. Okay. I can have Lind go down here. And we can use Aura. Topped off. Okay. Brody and draw. Set forward. Bellow, get 
closer. Uh, you stay here to be bait. Okay. More reinforcements. And we dodged. That's nice. The drug has this guy distracted, that's for sure. I guess we're going to just spend some time guarding against the reinforcements. Rhodey and Drog cannot handle it by themselves. I know that much. They, they were just, they've just been unlucky. So let's see, Draw. he kind of needs the healing. Man, even with his defenses, they can still deal a good amount of damage. Can you get rid of the archer? Attack a 16. No, he can't. It's one point difference. Well, let's still have him weaken him anyway. Try to get at least a little bit of the XP out of this. Because what we'll do... I'll have the Bellow go down here. Get the KO. Well, at spending a little time in the arena last chapter, I would say helped a bit, but not really. I can give Drog the KO. Or I can feed it to Lind. Let's see, Warren, do your thing. Good. Okay, we got rid of the guy with Swarm. Skill, speed, defense, and HP. That's a okay level up. No attack, but we'll take it. Julian, you head over here. You can head down. Okay. So I'm thinking of setting Marth to this guy with the rapier. Ogma cannot get close. I could have him go here, but Ogma also needs healing. We go ahead and heal Agma. Close enough. Okay. Drog, you back out. Agma, with your iron sword. he gets the crit on the second hit. Okay. And what about Katria? You can't get this one. What about Lind? I don't want her to get too close. I think we're just gonna leave it there. Here, that's good. 
Marth. You gotta dodge some. That's not dodging. Good. You should be fine. Marth should be fine. Good, good. Perfect. Level 9. Strength, speed, weapon level, and HP. Okay. I want Mark to back out. I think I can let Ogma go ahead and fight one of them. Attack of 16. Attack of 11. Is doing fine. If I send Rhodey in, an attack of 16, we can do it. Give him full, but it'll get him close. Close enough. Yeah, only four off. Okay. Take a look. More reinforcements. Oh my god, it's so sad. Can Rhodey survive? Not at that accuracy. Gotta dodge some of these. Oh my god, Rhodey! Oh, you, okay. We'll take it, we'll take it, we'll take it. Rhodey, come on, you have to. You have to dodge this. Why am I not surprised? Other option I can do. We just ignore the reinforcements. And we just continue on. Try to open the doors. That is the other option. The question is. Should I have everyone go through a single door, or do I split the path? Not sure. For now, turn one is going to be the same. And 
instead of having Drog and Rody guard here, hell, I could just have, like, Drog guard here, and that would work out fine. Or even Rody. Anyway. Uh, we'll just keep... I think we're just getting attacked by too many guys. It's not a good choke point. Hey, Juice. How's it going? Hey, Warren got a crit. We've already failed once today. change of strategy, hopefully we could, you know, make it farther. I did spend some time at the arena yesterday. Just chilling. Ah, oh, it's all good. Got plans for the weekend, Juice? trying to get back to where I was. Then Ogma goes up and Armor Slayers. Again, Ogma just needs one more point in strength. Just a single point. Strength, skill, luck, weapon level. Marth, you go ahead and rape here. You're playing Pokemon Go Saturday and then you have to work Sunday. Oh. Kinda sucks to have to work on a Sunday. later today, and tomorrow uh, I'm going with family to, to uh, basically the fairgrounds. That's what I got going on. Yeah, we're gonna try to ignore the reinforcements and just try to funnel them through uh, these choke points. not be the worst idea to split the group. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if we should, though. Granted, I just have not gotten a chance to see what's behind the door, so I have no clue how the enemy formation is. Strength, speed, weapon level, and HP. Kind of, diff kind of difficult to make that decision. Ogma's fine. I still don't know what these do. 
the Libra, the the Gemini, and the Taurus. I have no clue what these do. Should swap. I'll have Rhodey go over here. I think Ogma should go over here. Ogma's kind of my other main fighter. thing that sucks is I'm basically splitting up where my healer goes. Okay, we got the barrier sap. Ryan, get rid of the physic user. And I forgot. I used the wrong bow. Wrong bow. Steel bow. He's gonna get healed. So that sucks. Okay. Let's see. Okay, Mark, you head this way. Brody, head up here. Bello? We're probably gonna try to open the door soon. I guess Katria can move over here. Let's hope it works out. I still don't know what's up with that jail cell in the bottom right. Wow! Jog's actually dodging a magic spell. The tricky part is getting Julian to safety. That's gonna be tricky. Okay. Katria, you back up over here. So, is there a spot where Julian will be completely safe? Well, probably not completely. Attack of 15, attack of 17, defense of 6, 9, nope, Julian's not safe, so I think what will be best is to have Agma go down here, we are going to just attack. Get rid of the sky. Yeah, this is a little tricky. Strength, skill, and luck. Oh, good for Warren. Nice. 
I'm not worried about the physic right now. We already got rid of the swarm. And for some reason, he didn't heal the one with swarm. I mean, I'll take it. Stay here for now. Let's see, 30 seconds. I'll wait. I will wait. Let's see. Have anything? Alright. Nine, eight, seven. Five, four, three, two. Alright. The ad should have ended. Let's see how this goes. Okay. I knew Julian was going to get attacked, but now he's completely blocked. I could have equipped him with the Armor Slayer just to deal with this guy, but no, didn't go that route. Question is, can we get Julian to safety? Because there's too many here. I do want to know what the Libra does. So far, my guess is that they are the same thing as the. Uh, what was it? As the the scrolls in Thracia. That is so far my guess. Strength weapon level and max HP. Julian, please. Okay. Let me get over here. Anyone attack Julian? No. It's all up, up to Ogma to dodge. Let's go ahead and heal Julian. Dodges. So, is the game gonna let you know what these shards do? I, I guess that's the real question. Okay, let's check behind the door. This one, anyway. First time I went through here. Oh, great, it's Navarre. And guess who needs to talk to him? Ogma. At least I'm pretty sure Ogma needs to be the one to talk to him. Great. Perfect. More reinforcements. Stay there. And 
let's see. Although it is a shame, you must die. Take this, Killing Edge! I didn't need the rape here. That's something. Okay, let's see how well Agma does over here. Good. You need to do a lot of that. Okay. There, I don't think there's a chance that I could get Navarre with this setup. Alright. Magma, you're dodging. That's good. The Archer. What are we doing? Come on. They modify the groves when, he when held. Okay, so they are kind of like the scrolls in 5. But they don't tell me what they boost. Right? It seems like they don't tell me what they boost. Marth. Who would have guessed you don't actually talk to Navarre? Okay, well, someone's gonna die, that's for sure, because apparently, because Agma needs to talk to Navarre, and Agma's all the way over here. At least he survived. At least Agma has currently survived. Julian's safe. where he's at. Yes. We are going to mend Agma. Like the scrolls in Persia, it would never tell you until the fan translation patch. Right. So... Would it be okay if we get a, uh, a list pulled up of what these do? And maybe I could give a proper... Uh, and give them to proper units? Or is that not true to the FE3 experience? Although one thing you can do is you could just give them all to a single character and just try to get as many stat boosts as you can. <laughs> And watch as Ubello will die. There it is, and it's the crit. Alright, that's the reset. Okay. So, the enemies behind the door are not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Right. I could do that. Uh, is there a list of what these do? I can look up. I currently have Taurus, Gemini, and I'm getting Libra. I might just try the chapter again as is. So, Agma needs to go to the left side to fight Navarre. Well, not fight, but talk to him. But we need to also make sure to protect Julian. Hmm.
force is 5% everything. Okay. So it's just a balance one more. Still doing the first turn like this. Gemini is 30 to strength, 20 to defense, but minus weapon level. Okay, weapon level only. Weapon level only goes so far, basically. And Ogma doesn't need it. Strength and defense would be really good on him. Actually, you know what would be a good idea is when Melissa is about to level up, we could give her the Gemini. That way she gets a strength boost for better healing. Uh, she doesn't need the weapon level. Libra is minus 10 HP, plus 40 speed, 10 luck, 10 weapon level, and negative 10 res. Raspberry levels up as it is. Okay, that's something. And Navar had Aquarius. So let's see, how do I want to do this? I think I'm still gonna have Drog here. Once this section is taken care of, I'm thinking I'm gonna have Marth, Brody, and Agma help out so that Julian can get to safety. But we are going to try to make sure that everyone gets it is safe. Agma needs to head to the left side. I need to make sure of that. I guess Taurus can maybe stay on Marth for a little bit. After a certain point, weapon level must be kind of useless, right? Because weapon level is probably that one stat that doesn't actually need to get to 20. Man, if I knew that's what these did... I probably would have equipped them for the arena. Yeah. I figure they're they gotta be important. But it's interesting that three had had this system. I thought five was the only one that had it. Genealogy didn't have. Did genealogy have something like this? The game will tell you about them soon, but they'll never, never give you specifics. Right. And I was already kind of guessing that's what these did. Be the children in heaven. The growth modifier is basically who you pair up in Epi 4. That's the only one. Right. That's a little different. Uh, 
half. Let's see. Warren needs health. Yes, Warren needs health. Which is here. Yeah, that's not the same thing. It's not an item that you can constantly modify your growth. It's just more of in that case, you're just trying to be like, okay, what pairing does what, and what would be good for this unit in the future? You could kind of do similar things in Awakening and uh, Fates. Although sometimes it's not about, uh, it's not necessarily about the growths, although they are affected. It's more about like the skills they could potentially get, or the, I should say the job classes. but also the skills that they can inherit. That's fine. Yeah, it's only a plus five to everything. But it is helping him get the strength boost he needs. Because he's getting more strength than what he was back in uh, FE1. So, keeping Taurus on him is not the worst idea. And there's going to be one that gives resistance at some point. Wait, who has the door? You do. That's good. That's actually really good. Actually, I could open the door right now. Because Ogma is the one that needs to talk to Navar. And once I have Navar, I'm good. Like, the armor units that are up here are not going to move. There are the two mages that I can deal with later. And this mage, well, I can set someone here. It's not a bad idea. I'm assuming it's Ogma that needs to talk to him. There's Lee. Let's get you healed. But yeah, in Awakening. When it comes to the child units, obviously who you pair up, I think, affects growths. But it, the parents themselves can immediately pass down a single skill that they already have equipped. You know what, let's make sure at least the end is here to back them up. Bello, I guess we'll go here. But not only that, their parents can also determine a job class that they normally cannot get. So now the child can have an extra can have an extra job class that they normally can't. And in Awakening, a lot of the good ones were uh, try to get get as many of the child characters with Gale Force as possible. We just have the iron equipped. Heal? Heal, okay. Again, we'll have Linda's backup. Just in case something goes wrong. We need the steel equipped. Okay. 
and the thing about Gale Force and Awakening. It's a female only skill, normally, because uh, it's from one of the Pegasus job classes. I forget which one. It's like a Dark Pegasus, I think, the one that can use magic, I think. Uh, I, I forget specifically which job class gets it. And, uh, obviously because it's female only, not every character can get it, and not every female character can go into that job class to begin with. But many can. And if I'm... Yeah. Quite a bit this. Yesterday, you have Fates. Pretty solid so far. You're playing on hard. It's gonna be more harder than the regular guys. Uh... I think so. You wanna do a lunatic run? Oh, good luck. And that's not even Lunatic Plus. From what I understand about Lunatic and Lunatic Plus with Awakening and Fates, it requires very specific, uh, like, uses of, like, your Jagan for a little while. And the enemies have broken skills, like, skills you can't even obtain. Like, it is ridiculous. I have never attempted a Lunatic or a Lunatic Plus run. I don't think I've attempted hard. I don't think I've but, uh... So, like, with Robin... Usually most people would go with a female Robin. That way, you can get into that Pegasus job class and immediately pass down the Gale Force ability. Male characters, though, if they could get into, I think it was Barbarian? They could get the counter skill. And that's the only way to get counter. L reverse Lunatic and New Mystery. Yeah, uh, I think Lunatic in... Uh, oh, wow. It's a good thing I had the Iron Equipment. I think Lunatic in... Awakening was based on reversed, reverse new uh, lunatic, probably. If I were to take a guess. Okay, let's see. Agma, talk. Navar, you disappoint me. Whoa. I don't believe it. This killing edge is, like, so deadly. Do we have to fight? All right. I guess that we would eventually, we would have to duel eventually. Ah, oh snap. Whoa, dude. I'm just faking it. Faking? It's me, Samto. Have you totally forgotten, Master Agma? Samto? The pit fighter from, Cor uh, Norda? Samto? Yeah, that was me. Thanks for saving me back then. When everyone tried to escape, you got yourself caught to hide your escape. To hide our escape. I heard from the others that you were taken to the arena to be whipped. Even then, you don't say anything about our whereabouts. In the end, the young princess of Talus, who was passing by, protected you even when she was in tears and rescued you. So that is why, for Talus, no, for the princess, you should wield your sword again. Enough. Don't say anything. It's already in the past. In the past. Mr. Agma, regardless, I hope you to repay your favor. Let me follow you. Okay, so not Navar, but Samto. Not a fan of that portrait. It looks weird. The enemies get random skills, and they get skills that are completely broken. Like, they are way too powerful. Okay, so we get Samto. We did hear about him. I believe in the previous chapter. Said something about the arena, so I guess this isn't a shock. But I wasn't expecting them to pull a, uh... I wasn't expecting him to pull a, uh, what was it? What's his name? In five. Uh, I, you know who I'm talking about. Like the name 
things to jump in on me. Oh, good, a crit. Skill, luck, and the secret book. So, what does the Aquarius give you? What does this give you? Yeah, uh, I'm kind of curious on what this, some of the skills were. I'm thinking about it. Strength and luck, good. That is good. Let's see. At this point, I want to try to funnel him. Agma's not in the best shape at the moment. 15 strength, 15 skill, and 10 speed. That's a good one. That is a good one. Okay, hold on, hold on. Uh... Oh, you got the wrong one? Okay, I know Awakening has a list of... Ten for those stats, and ten percent weapon level. So ten percent strength, skill, speed, and weapon level. Is that right? Let me check the classes. I want to look at a list of skills. Alright, 10% boost. Mm. Right, I'm gonna check a different one. I know there's a list of skills. Anyway. So, let's see. Okay, we are only worried about this guy. I think Rhodey can handle this. Skills and awakening. So you know there's a list. Okay, yeah, there's DLC skills. All right. Okay, I forgot about some of these. So how I mentioned how there was a DLC you could do. Uh, there are some skills that you can get by playing DLC. I don't remember if these skills are one use only or if you could grind for them. But you could get Paragon in Lost, Lost Bloodlines 3. You can get All Stats Plus 2 manual from Champions of Yore. All Stats except for Movement is plus 2. I think that's just a baseline. I don't think it's a growth or anything. You could get Iot Shield from Smash Brother in 3. Negates user's flying weaknesses. Limit Breaker. Raises the user's maximum stat caps by 10 in Rogues and Redeemers 3. So those are okay rewards. Okay, so enemy skills. Let's see. Enemy only skills. Uh, let's see. Here's So there's someone with dragon skin. You've seen that. In Lunatic, there's someone with... Uh, there could be enemies with hit rate plus 10 and rightful god. Let's see, adds 30%. You're gonna try without the DLC stuff. It seems to be broken. It can be. I say it's one of those things where, kind of like Fire Emblem Engage, trying to run with them could be fun. But also trying to run without them could also be interesting. So yeah, Rightful God, Lunatic. Adds 30% to skill activation rates. Only two units have this, okay. So now that this door is open, both of them need healing. Julian, you need to get to safety. Okay. Equip the rapier. Sorry. 
let's see. Let's get Cecile over here. I'm gonna try to funnel my units up through here. Santo and Lind. Yeah, sorry, uh, I had a message and I... Also, I was just kind of letting the ad play through. Uh, so yeah, you got... Rightful God was 30% to skill activation. That really seems to only uh, go to Grima and Anna. However, Lunatic Plus. Vantage Plus. User always attacks first, even if attacked. Luna Plus. User ignores half the enemy's defense or resistance, but it's 100% activation. That's, what, that's why it's better than Luna. Hawkeye. The users will always hit the enemy. Pavis Plus. Uh, halves damage from swords, lances, axes. Includes magical variants. And beast stones, 100% of the time. And then there's Aegis Plus. Halves damage from bows, tomes, and dragon stones, 100% of the time. Enemies are the only ones that can get those skills, and they will get them in Lunatic Plus. Is ridiculous. I, I think you're kind of understanding what I was talking about, uh, Juice. Enemies will just get broken skills. Alright. So Marth is gonna take care of this guy. These guys are gonna get close. Okay, it's fine because you have to play like you always get hit. I mean, that is true. I... Okay. How do I want to handle this? I think I might just funnel everyone this way. I think I might just do this. Yeah, I can funnel them, funnel them right here. That'll be better. Draw can stay where he's at for now. Right here. Is that it? That's it. And I know Fates has a similar problem. Here, I'm gonna pull up uh, Fates. Good, we dodged. Okay, let's see. There's DLC skills. You can get a lot of DLC skills from, uh, in Fates. Because, uh, some of the DLCs will give you a, uh, promotion item to... Or not promotion item, but, like, a class change item. So, like, you could become a, uh... Like a, uh, a Dark Falcon or a Pegasus Knight or a uh, Dreadfire. And that's, or a Ballista. That's the only way to get some of these uh, skills. Is through the DLC to become a certain job class. I'm not going to refer to those, though. I forgot there are Amiibo-only skills. That's weird. Okay, let's see. Ogma here for a second. You know what, Rody, you're going this way. Marth, going up here. Okay. Drog's gonna stay where he's at for now. Ogma, yeah, you stay where you're at. Oh, right, the mage is heading over here. It's a good thing I caught that. Right here. Alright. 
think I'll leave it there. Okay, yeah, there's DLC scrolls in, uh, in Fates. I don't remember if these are infinite use or not. Or, not infinite use, but you can in infinitely grind them. But you could get stuff like, uh, Aether, uh, there's a heavy blade that increases your strength by three, but speed by minus one. Uh, let's see. The Paragon. And there's, like, the skill taker skills. Every time you get a KO, your skill goes up by two with a cap of ten, and there's one for each stat. Point blank. User can attack enemies at one range with any bow. So those are, like, some DLC rewards you can get. Okay, enemy-only skills. Here we go. I am gonna look specifically for, like, the harder difficulty ones for fates. Let's see. Oh, I, maybe they did a little bit more balancing, because Awakening had the problem. I don't see as many uh, issues in Fates, at least in terms of broken skills. There's one in Lunatic, Inevitable End. Uh, enemy will accumulate status reduction effects. What does that mean? Hold on. I'm pulling that one up. I don't know what that means. How much does you have? Five? Okay. This is the stats of another unit. They are triggered with the stacking debuff. Any debuff from this unit, from units without this ability. Wait, any debuff, even from units without this ability, will stack if the unit already has stats reductions from another unit with this ability. Second effect will be removed once all the stats are recovered on the effect of the unit. Uh, so it sounds like it's a way, it's a skill that's able to stack debuffs. But that's the only lunatic exclusive uh, enemy skill. Drog is currently fine. Marth is fine. Javelin, Steel. Alright, at the moment, let's get Marth back here. Let's get Drog. Let's get Drog right here. Funnel them in. I still feel like this is for something, but I can't figure out what. Right. For now, I want Rhodey to back up. So it seems like Awakening had the more broken enemy skills for Lunatic Plus. I think Fates kind of balanced that particular aspect out. However, that doesn't mean enemies don't have broken skills. Because I could see some skills right here. But most of them are actually even on the normal playthrough. So I'm not going to point them out, since you're playing Fates. But the Lute uh, Lunatic one, I figured I'd point it out, because you're not playing that version. Yeah. Okay, most of the enemies are hidden. Attack of 14 minus 5, that's 9. Go ahead and grab your KO. Perfect. Okay. 
Julian, go ahead and open the door. That's done. I'm gonna start working on my way over here. Um... I want you to weaken. Good. Next. Warren. If you attack with the iron bow, the attack of 19. Oh, no, attack of 16. You can grab the KO. You get the crit. You're going to level up soon. Marth? Go ahead and heal Mark. I want to try to give Melissa or Melissa, Melissa, whatever. I want to try to give her some strength boost. And so far, well, the Taurus is currently the closest one I can give her. You're supposed to dodge. Okay. Mark will get this KO. He'll dodge the javelin or survive it. Back out. Trade Melissa the Taurus and then she heals him. Gonna try to get a strength boost for her. Uh, I think you Bella can head up here. Actually, I think I will get this head up here. Over here. Let's see, you're the only one over here. Brody, go ahead and grab a KO. I guess I'll keep Agma here. I have no clue if these guys are going to move. I feel like they're not. I'm not sure. Okay, Lane has a javelin and he has the cancer. Of course he has cancer. Why wouldn't he? Because he himself is cancer. Um. You could survive all this. I know you can. So actually, one thing I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pull up a list of... Okay, so we got strength, speed, HP, and weapon level, I think? Uh... Try shards. I want to pull up a list of shards. Astral shards, because I want to have a list of what these do. I have no idea. I didn't read anything. I just have a list of what they do. That way I could just look at them at a glance. Okay. 
north. Go over here. Trade over. Taurus. You go ahead and mend. Okay, and we get strength, speed, weapon level, resistance. All right, we got strength boost. Better healing. That's good. We have a javelin. Steel. We're gonna have Drog back up. Putting Julian in a safe spot. I'm gonna try to lure one over. Right here. Oh, of course, I didn't equip the armor. Didn't equip Armor Slayer. There we go. That works. Oh, hey, Dante. How's it going? Uh, this is my, like, second attempt? I think this is my second attempt. Yeah, of Chapter 8 for today. Uh, currently, doing alright. I had to make sure, you know, Julian was safe. We're funneling all the reinforcements up here. We're about ready to go after General Lang himself. How's it going on your end? Let's try it. Still more reinforcements. Not many. The amount that spawn is very inconsistent. Good, but he's low on health. And they will move. Let's see. Oh, good. Agma do or Drogdar. He dodged. That's good. Armor Knight. So, right now, you need to continue heading up here. So the plan of what I'm thinking of doing is having Drog weaken, then give the kill to either Warren or Ryan. You have 17, 15. Probably here. 17, 15, 15. So, 17, 6, 5, 5, yeah, Drog needs healing. Drog will need healing. With the heal staff, uh, also, should I trade some of the Taurus? No one needs it at the moment. I think we're fine. Okay. Now what we're gonna do is Drog is gonna go and weaken. One of my archers is gonna take over. And get 
like the KO. Let's see about the upper area. Oh, good, he dodged. That's nice. Hi, Molly. What do you want? My dog wants attention. Let's see. Seven, eight. Okay, it's going to warm. Oh, wait. Uh, what's your EXP? Oh, you may level up, actually. There's a chance. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna trade over the Taurus. Because I am looking here. Taurus is a plus five to every stat boot. Every sack row. Attack of 16, minus five, that's 11, there we go. And we get a crit. That works. Not that it was needed, but we'll take it. So close. So close. Let's see. Up here. Agma can't survive another hit. Neither can Santa. Lin can get a KO, but she'll be attacked by everyone else. So that's not gonna What are you doing, Molly? Uh Maybe I can lure one of them with Catria or Cecile. Now let's try... Oh, I can... Wait a minute. I could give Cecile the Lady Sword for more damage. Attack of 19, defense of 12. That would be... 7. Okay. Catria. We're gonna trade over the Lady Sword. Cecile's gonna go... Where is she going? Right here. And then you, Bella, will grab the KO. Unless the crit's involved. I think we're good. I kind of figured the constellation things are sack growth boosters, but I had no proof. And it also seems like the game doesn't tell you anyway. Okay. We get a crit. That works too. Who cares about you, Bello? Give that one to Marth. That one's also a steal. Okay. How do I want to handle this? So we got one more use of that. If Warren were to attack, let's just use the seal for a second. Attack of 19. 7. If he had one more point in strength, I could have weakened. No, I can't do that. I'm gonna have Drog back out. I'm gonna have Marth. attack with the steel bow. Because he will level up. He gets skill and speed. I mean, with the Taurus, it's only a 5% boost. Alright. 
Now let's go ahead and trade over the Taurus. And... Do I need the rapier? Yeah. I need the rapier. I would say this map is a little bit annoying. But it's only because of the amount of reinforcements that show up. And also, Julian was in trouble. I still don't know what's up with this section. I feel like I should take a look into it. You took too much damage. We could try luring another one over. Except, I don't think I can without attracting two of them. That's right, you got hit by Hellfire. Um, I think we just need to try to heal up. I don't think there's much I can really do. Okay, hold on. I'm sending you Bellow in range. Well, not in range, but I wanted to be able to get closer. Because Lind is able to grab... No. She is not able to grab a KO with Aura. Attack a 22... No. Nope. She is not able to do that. Uh, Nosferatu. Nope. Hellfire. Same power. Oh, that's not good. Agma's too weak. Alright, I, I think I know what I'm gonna have to do. I'm gonna have to get Agma on this side so we can get him healed over here. And also, at the moment... Gonna let Samto trade over the Aquarius. So maybe I could give that to someone else. Let's see a drug. There we go. So yeah, what did Aquarius do again? Plus 10 strength, skill, speed, and weapon level. What's the best? Oh yeah, it was Gemini. Gemini gives the best strength boost. Actually, no it doesn't, but it's what I have right now. Uh, yeah, plus 30 boost to strength. So, I, I feel like magic users actually do get an increased boost in damage if they actually get strength. But because mages don't really have good strength throws, they almost need it. If it's not strength, I don't know what it is. Dodge. Mark is gonna. No, Mark's not getting a fight. It's Warren. Warren for the crit. Let's see. Okay, not gonna level up anytime soon. The archer's going after Warren again. Well, that's nice. Okay. 
getting close. You're also getting close. Of course, there's more reinforcements. I want to know how long that's going to last. Don't know. You head over here. If you Bella were to attack, what are we looking at? The fire. Yeah, not not enough. Your Bella doesn't have a shot. I really have to rely on healing up Agma. Over here, let's go ahead and. We can use the iron. Honestly, he could use a strength boost. Or two. Although, like, I'm pretty sure 20 is the cap. Actually, if anything, Ryan needs the strength boost. Okay, let's see. I have to have Mark go ahead and fight, and I have to keep him with the rapier. Actually, I don't have to. Oh, I know what I can do. Let's use the iron. I think. 15. No. The steel. Okay, we got the crit. <laughs> That works. I'll take it. Level 10. Skill and luck went up. That's it. Okay. Alright. Ryan, I want you to go here. We are going to trade Taurus. No, that's not what I want. We are trading the Rapier. Perfect. Draw can hang out here. No one needs healing. Except for Cecile. Do that. Brody, you head up here. Alright. Wait, I don't think reinforcements showed up. Is this the last of the reinforcements? It's getting a lot of use right now. Okay. He needs to back out now. Yeah, Martha needs to back out. That looks like it might be the last of the reinforcements. Do I want to give Warren... Yeah, I could, I could give one the Taurus. No. Item, trade. Go. Warren could use some HP. Yeah, let's just heal him up. Literally, one more point in strength would do it. Let's equip the steel. They have an attack of 15. I have a def I don't know what my defense is. Well, uh, I'm just gonna wait. Defense of 5. Yeah, I, I better hold off. Healed. 
Mind you get over here. Alright. More reinforcements. Are they just slowing down now? should be able to attack Ryan. Ryan dodged. That was only the iron. He can't double. Dang it. So, first, Warren, go ahead and grab your KO. And now we gotta level up. Level 9 skill and HP. Attack with the steel bow. For attack of 17, we're talking 10 damage. That's it. I can't attack from range, so I might as well go for it. He's the only one that can attack from range. Ryan off. He's immediately gonna fight. Unless the archer runs away. Good. Okay. Everyone else is fine for now. There. No other reinforcements. attacking Warren. Okay. I think I know what's going to happen. to try that again. So, let's see. What would be best? That was a good idea, and it was going well. It's just I made a bad move. So for now, uh... Magma has the Gemini. Gemini is a plus 30% chance to do strength, plus 20 for defense, and minus weapon level. I'm thinking we should give the strength boosting one to Warren for a little bit. Because Warren, if he just got, like, a couple extra points in strength, he's good. Same thing with Ryan, but for right now... Oh, Ryan only... Wait. Warren's not gonna... 
we'll leave it like this for now. Uh, Marth. Marth has Taurus. I guess he'll be fine. Agma's not getting a level up. Um, actually, he could. What's his... His stats are fine. I'm not worried about Agma at the moment. Could he use a boost in strength? Yeah, but he wasn't getting it. And by giving Warren the Gemini, I can easily swap it over to Melissa so she can really get a strength boost. And we can, what we can even do is once we're funneling everyone, we can stack Taurus and Gemini to really try to get a strength boost. Hell, even like defense. Um, that might be okay. Let's try it. What is your attack speed like? Zero. Defense is four. And HP is twenty. It wouldn't have mattered. It won't matter. Uh, I have to do this again. This chapter is kind of a slog. At least the way I'm playing it. Drag and get up here. I feel like I was doing fine. Like the way I was handling it was pretty good. Bello, head up here. Julian. Brody. Melissa. Yeah, she's not close to the level. But she needs strength boost to heal better. Now when I play this game, I'll have the Astral Shards visible so I can see what they uh, boost. I feel like that'll be useful. Again, Lind, go ahead with Aura. But he dodged. It worked out. Thirteen. Skill, luck, HP, door key. Good. Agma needs the door key. Marth. Needs your rapier. Of course, you get the crate on the second one. What else is new? Alright. Warren? Right ahead. Grab your KO. Weapon level is something I'm not really worried about. I almost want to look up a list of weapons and see what the highest weapon level you would need. But right now, Warren's fine. 
Hey Juice, if you're still listening, because I don't want to potentially spoil myself, would you mind looking at a list of weapons? And find out what the... Basically what the highest weapon level I would need would be. Just out of curiosity. Because I feel like weapon level doesn't need to get to level 20. I feel like that's one stat that doesn't matter if it's maxed out. I don't want to potentially spoil myself on, uh, like a weapon that I've never seen before or something. Or just some other spoiler that I will get spoiled on. You never know. It happens. That's how I usually get spoiled. I try looking for one thing that I think I wouldn't be spoiled, and then I find something else that did spoil me unintentionally. I can't go on a rabbit hole yet. <laughs> I will find something. HP. Good. He got his strength boost. Martha, like, really needs it. Physical require, uh, weapons don't require much. Right. But yeah, I would like you to double check. Oh, does Aqua need to be topped off? Oh, I don't remember. The Lance, you would need a weapon level 14. That's specifically for one of the Lances. And Cecile's already like three away. Katria's already at 15. I feel like weapon level is not really an issue. But is that the highest one? Same with stabs, except one, you need max weapon level. Okay. So there's one specific staff that has that needs a max level of 20. Is it the one is it the staff that revives someone? Let's get you out of reach. Set you here. So one staff is at weapon level 20, and the highest lance is 14. Yeah. Now, weapon level is something I'm not... Wait, no? not character locked? Oh! Good to know. Well, we'll leave it at that for now. Yeah, I guess other than staff, weapon level's not really that important. Or at least not important enough to really stress out with the constellation shards is more what I'm trying to get at. Next highest is 11. Yeah, most of my units have that already. early weapon level up so you can get silver lances usable early in game. Most there's actually a good chunk of my units that can use silver lances. Catria 
Catri, Ashida, and Kala can use them. Okay. Uh... Oh yeah, it was an early attempt of weapon weapon rank. That's what it was. That was all the way back in every one. I think I understand the idea of how later weapons work. Work requires five. Really? I mean, that's interesting. So far, we haven't had a warp staff yet, but we can use it. Rody wasn't really that useful over here. Although... I don't know. Um, I feel like we're fine. Yeah, I think we're fine. Go ahead and attack Cecile. That's why she's there. For some reason, he is not uh, healing. But for now, let's go ahead and get rid of this guy. Perfect. And we get skill, defense, and HP. Some chance for a strength boost. It's not like I gave him that for a reason. Jeez, it was a 30% boost. What's his strength growth as is? I'm okay with this. Uh, Warren will trade over the Gemini to him. Next turn, and grab the KO. What are we looking at here? Rody? Go ahead and grab this KO. Uh, I feel like an ad will start soonish. I'm not sure when. When that happens, I'm gonna fill my water up. I understand how weapon wake uh, the weapon skill works later. You know, it's weapon type specific. I feel like that actually just makes more sense. You know, the more time you spend using a a, a sword doesn't mean you're going to be that skilled using a, a lance. I feel like that makes sense to me. Okay, got the iron. Oh, I just thought of something. I could have had Lind open the door, and then Agma goes up here and talks. Oh, that would have been better. I'm dumb. Why didn't I think of that? Yeah, I feel like it makes more sense. The more you use a sword doesn't mean you're going to be uh, good at lances. You know? But in this game, 
it basically means that like, oh, as soon as weapon level gets up, goes up, I could just give Cecile like the highest sword I could give her. Just in case they go into an indoor map, just to have ready to go. Because that was that was one of my flaws with when I was playing through book one. My calves. Sorry. Well, okay. <clears throat> my calves. I didn't give them strong uh, swords when I easily could have. So because of that, they were kind of underperforming in the. In the inside maps. And they could have done better if I just gave them a stronger sword. But I'm like, ah, they're lance users. They're not really gonna fight. M Might as well just give the better swords to Agma and Navar. That's, that's one mistake I made. I think Rhodey needs to go this way. Let's see. Everyone out of the way. Warren. Let's trade over the Gemini. I want you to potentially get a strength boost. Okay. I would say, why didn't you get the crit before, but I didn't want the crit earlier. Strength, skill, luck. Perfect. Ryan needs that strength boost. He's falling behind. By the way, what's the cap for stats? Is it 20? Because I feel like it's 20. Fe one uh, when I tried boosting Mars uh, luck, I believe the cap was twenty. I'm assuming it's twenty. Obviously, other than HP, that goes to probably forty. Samto, because I have a feeling it's going to be a while before we actually get Navar. If we do get Navar still. But for now, let's give Ogma the Aquarius. Send Wind up here. Oh, there's an ad? Okay, I'm going to take a break. I'm going to get my water. Be right back.
Okay, I'm back. <laughs> 